What up, Internet? This is Crystal Phone Cats, and we're taking a look at a game called Rodland by Dot Emu. And this was uh, purchased on my iPad, too. Really cool, definitely old school vibes. Uh, some of you hardcore gaming nerds may recognize this as debatably one of the rarest titles on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES. Uh, this was only released in Italy, I believe. And I don't know why. It's pretty fun to play. Um, this isn't a game where you run and jump. This is a game where, like, there's just ladders. Uh, you can press your one button. A is going to use your little wand. And it's kind of like Bubble Bobble, where you can trap the dudes and try to use them to hit other people. Or the other button just makes a ladder that you can climb up. Climb up. Or you can use it as kind of like a red herring, and sometimes the enemy dudes will get stuck in it. Um, I'm on, like, World 2 uh, on one of the last levels. About to have a boss next. And, yeah, uh, those snakes are so damn annoying. They, like, tilt their head back and do, like, a charge-up thing and then move really fast, just like in Zelda on NES. And then those volcano dudes uh, poop out these little hydration burstlets that float upwards. And sometimes you get hit by those, too. Um, if you're a points junkie, you want to get all the flowers before killing all the dudes. If you're the guy that just wants to get to the next level, um, then just kill all the bad guys. Oh god, that snake! Okay, so that's the pro way to do it. And sometimes if you are going for all the flowers, you'll need to just pick a dude up and drop him off on the other side of you. So, yeah, this game has some strategy involved. Um, people that have been, like, playing it a lot, I want to know what you think, so definitely let me know in the comments, because this is like a classic. Uh, Right now I'm having a really hard time. The bosses provide like a little bit more of a different kind of gameplay. And one thing that I'm doing a lot more now is actually using the ladders. You can see that when I'm playing right now, I hardly even use them. And that's like one of the primary functions in this game. And if you stand too close to the ladder, you can get ganked like that, like I just did. But really cool soundtrack, and the graphics are so like squarey and poppy and bright that, uh, I don't know, it keeps me entertained. And you're playing this little pink starlet who has a magic wand and is obsessed with flowers and, I don't know, sees all these crazy things. It's a good game. Okay, I think this might be my, like, victory run, so bear with. Okay, I start to use strategy and I'm like, okay, uh, I'm tired of losing. I'm just gonna wait for these dudes to come down to my little pocket and then I'll just pick them off over here. Sometimes when you kill them, they'll dump out a strawberry or like some little special power up or... Okay, did you see how both my dudes were just stuck in like an infinite loop on that ladder? So use your ladders strategically because the computer is stupid. The computer is stupid! Finally! Ooh, and a little psionic ball bounce just to close this out with some style. Okay, I think that epileptic flash means that we have made it to a boss level, so if you're still with us, uh, glad to hear it. This definitely has some aquatic vibe to it. Oh my god! Okay, on this level, a whole bunch of baby whales come out of this mama whale. I didn't even know that whales had their vagina on top of their head, but that's fine. Okay, so each time it poops out a whole bunch of those babies, and then one red one. When you kill the red one, they'll give you like a little upgrade opportunity. So kind of hunt that one down. And try to use most of your attacks in a way that you're hitting the whale at the same time. I'm pretty sure the eyes are the weakness in that typical like video game fashion of they flash when you strike them. But yeah, just know that this is like a pretty old school game. So uh, go with your vintage gaming roots. Most of the power-ups are kind of crappy. You can't really depend on that four ball thing to like clear the map. Opening up with some button spam, just trying to warm up, keep that thumb fresh, going carpal tunnel on him. But yeah, it seems like if you want to beat this boss or beat this game, just try to stay in the center more. Oh god. I'm bad at games. I'm sorry. <laughs> button spam! I don't know why I do it. Okay, I am in this thing's eye like a uh, pink eye, so I think this is going to be a victory run. With a power-up, and all four of those exploded on its eye, so this whale is done. Oh my god, you are dead, dude. The little whales are nothing more than annoying. 
Uh oh, I must be getting to the end because he just did like a full frontal. Oh yeah, game over. Eat it. Eat it. 10,000 points, three stars, winner. Okay, we'll just do a taste of World 3. We definitely already have some new bad guys in the mix, of course. Uh, let's see, and this one we got some little pink ducklets, <laughs> chicklets, and those crabs. I did get killed by the crabs a lot, and then they do like a little crab dance that's really annoying. Every time that you die, whoever kills you does like a little cheeser dance, and it really pisses me off. <laughs> I don't know why I get so mad playing these games. I can't help it. But yeah, pro tips, use the ladders, um, and get to safe zones, because right now I'm just still trying to beat this game. And when you do get all the flowers, this is what happens. Your, your bad guys turn red, and then you kill them, and then you get whatever the hell that was. It was like a million points. Two stars. Oh no, let's just see if I get crabbed. Uh, oh, and he does a little crab shimmy. A crab shimmy? Shimmy shimmy crab co pop? Shimmy shimmy now? Ooh, look at that stair dodge. I don't act like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's it for this episode of the Phone Cats. Uh, do the usual stuff. Like this video. Comment. Yeah, Phone Cats.